Now, for those who've been around for a while, you may know that at one time I tried dabbling in a bit of gaming content. That went about as well as you'd expect. Oh my god, I have ERS on. Like, how are you just that much quicker? How is Latifi with engine issues quicker than me? How is that possible? Mick, 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 Mick! Come on, Mick! 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 That was almost a year ago now. But then the developers of the new Isle of Man TT game got in touch and asked if I fancy giving it a go. Where's the harm in that, I said. Let me just make something abundantly clear before we begin. I may know a thing or two about Formula 1, but when it comes to bikes, I know they have two wheels. And that's about it. Loading up the game, I was at least presented with a cutscene that gave me a little more of an idea about what I'd be getting up to. And take a good long look at this, as this is the cleanest racing you're going to see in this entire video. With my appetite now well and truly wetted, it was time to adjust my game settings. We're obviously going to set the physics simulation to realistic, because I just know I'm going to be good at this from the offset. After that, the game let me select a season and a rider. I went with Craig Neve, because I feel like I've heard his name before. His bike also gave me 2005 Renault vibes so that's good enough for me. And with that then, we were put straight into free roam. You see, this is the first Isle of Man TT game with a full open world, meaning there's a ton more to explore, or in my case, a ton more places to crash. I thought I'd do the tutorial first and get a feel for my new bike, which went well. That's not gone well. Determined that this was not an issue with my skill, I tried seeing if a different camera angle suited me better. Okay, all right, maybe that's better. No, maybe not. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Despite these setbacks, I do feel my mindfulness at least has come a long way in the last 12 months. I can go great in a straight line. Buoyed by this confidence and having gone about 50 meters without crashing, I thought it was time to throw myself into a qualifying session. Having looked at my bike in the setup menu, I decided to hit the track, where it turned out I hadn't improved between loading screens. Okay, right, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're not fine. We're not fine. We're okay. Oh my god. That, that worked. That, that didn't work. Okay, I think you just sort of have to coast it. Then hit a tree, which is less ideal. That's a wall! That's another wall. Also, watching back the footage, it became clear I've become adept at making strange noises. Oh! <laughs> Sounding like Super Mario and crossing the line a solid minute off the pace, I decided it might be a good idea to give things another go. This time I was suddenly much improved. This I'm sure had absolutely nothing to do with the changes made in the game menu though. After another attempt, I may have still been last, but I wasn't going to give up that easily. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, no! Every time that corner. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, <laughs> yes, no, <laughs> no. My poor rider probably didn't like me much by this point, but that was tough because I was still enjoying myself and, albeit slowly, I was getting slightly better. Yeah, here we go. I, I am getting the hang of this. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That was actually quick. That actually, that felt good. Uh, every time that corner... Yes, I made it! Come on. After almost half an hour of practicing how not to ride, I decided I'd give the actual qualifying session a go. You know what? I, th I think we're ready. I think we're ready. We may still be last, but we're now only 10 seconds off the pace. Come on, come on, come on! He's climbed a tree, so maybe I got a bit ahead of myself. But despite breaking likely all the bones in poor Craig Neve's body, there was time left in the session, so I could give it another shot. Three minutes and nine seconds. We're now third. Look at that. That's that is progress. That's what that is. That make that fourth. We're okay. I had a feeling we were maybe the third. The, the third bite to come across the line. That, that, yeah, okay. That, that's actually what's happened. I'm not one to give up that easy, though. Whoa, whoa! Ooh. 
that actually look competent? No! Oh, so close! Right, so we're last again. But I know I can do better. Ah, no! Hang on a minute, 2.45. This is going to be the quickest we've done it. So, no! Fair to say, things were still not going well. But then I remembered something Lewis Hamilton said. You can throw what you want at me, but I will come back stronger. I doubt he meant trees, but we can all interpret that in our own way, right? Ooh, I think that was an apex. We're as close to one as I'll ever get. Sub three minutes. We are seventh. We are not last anymore. Come on. I can do better. I know I can do better. Tree! Tree! Ah! Oh! Now we're talking. That's more like it. No, that's a house. It's a house. It's a house still. Yes! That's still not quicker. I can do this. I know I can. 12 minutes. We can do it. I wasn't going to stop trying. I may not be the best when it comes to racing games. He's climbed a tree. But if I know anything, I'm not going to give up that easily. No, survive, survive, yes! I have a, I just have a feeling, this is the one. Now this is looking good, this is looking really good. Come on. No, 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 no! Oh, that might have done us. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, without that crash, man. We're third now, that's... You know what, that, that, maybe we'll leave it there. 3.3 seconds off the pace, but... Improvements. And the French guys last. We may not have topped the timesheets, but we've gone from being a whole minute off the pace to just a matter of seconds. Nikita Mazepin couldn't manage that over a whole F1 season, so I'm taking that as a win. And besides, this is only qualifying. There's still an entire race to come. You'll be seeing that in a follow-up video very soon. As for my early thoughts on the game, I'm having a lot of fun. As I said, motorbikes aren't my usual crowd, so from a pure gamer's perspective, there's a lot to sink your teeth into here. So a huge thank you to the devs for giving me early access. If you want to try the game out for yourself, it releases on Xbox, PlayStation, PC and Nintendo Switch from the 11th of May. It's up to you, but it's got my seal of approval. As I said, there'll be more race footage coming to the channel very soon, but if you want these videos to continue beyond that, let me know by smashing that like button and telling me in the comments. Normal comedy review videos aren't going anywhere, so don't worry about that. A final thank you, as always, goes to all my patrons and channel members. If you want to get involved with that, you can head down to the links in the description below. That, though, is all from me, so I'll be seeing you very soon for another video, but until then, have a good one.